Craig Munson, another guy you never heard of, the largest guy I ever seen in my entire life, including Sergio Oliva and all the bodybuilders included. Craig Munson, a prison guy, was one of the biggest guys I ever seen. The state's oldest bodybuilding contest will be held this Saturday in Venice. The Mr. Ms. Los Angeles contest has been running since 1939, and if you go this weekend, you're going to see one of the most incredible specimens you have ever seen. Craig Monson is a former Fremont High School football player. He's also a Hollywood hairdresser. He no longer resembles either one. Monson is 280 pounds of solid muscle, the biggest bodybuilder in the world. Well, I got news for you. You don't get a body like this out of a Wheaties box. Train, blood, sweat, and tears. Train, train real hard. Like what we're seeing here. That's right. Maximum pound is real mass, muscle. I'm the biggest thing to stand on the platform now. I stand up there 272 and be cut. And if they don't, you know, they, they don't know how to judge it. So we look at him, he's all cut up, but he's too big. You know, they don't know how to judge it. <laughs> All right, I am so happy to finally get the chance to sit down with one of my, uh, I ain't gonna say childhood, but one of my young, uh, as a young man, idols. I, I looked up to this man, and when I first seen him, well, let me see, I, I'm just getting, look, I'm all excited. Look, I, when I first seen him, I heard about him before I seen him. People told me, and I had won a couple of bodybuilding titles, a powerlifting title, had won a few little titles, and I was feeling pretty good about myself. People see me and they say, you know what? You look like a little Craig Munson. I said, a little? I ain't no little no motherfucking body. I don't know who the fuck Craig Munson is, but I ain't little. And I, and I, that, you know, I just leave it at that. And I seen Craig Munson on the Venice Beach boardwalk. And I, I, he was way down the boardwalk. And I seen a big crowd of people standing around. And the closer I got to that crowd of people and the man standing in the, in the middle of that crowd, which is Craig Munson, I said, God dang. When I actually seen Craig Munson, I was happy that they said I was a little Craig Munson. I was happy about that to even be compared in any kind of way to the legend Craig Munson, I was happy about it. So finally, finally, y'all heard me talk about him for years now. And I, I had a setback, you know, as you know, I had a heart transplant at May. But it's finally here. The legendary Craig Munson has entered the Valley of the Beast and check this out. We're going to get started. The interview of a lifetime. And that day, you came up to me and shook my hand. Yes, I did. <laughs> and I, and, and I, you were going to swallow. Look, I swole. thought I had <laughs> big hands. Craig, hold your hand up. <laughs> look, look at that. They used his, to be big. His hand, no, they still I big. I done lost the pump. <laughs> I thought I had big hands. His hand swallowed my I couldn't even see my hand off his, I said, what? <laughs> But, hand swallowed my hand uh, up. Man. But no, you made an impression on me when I met you, okay? Didn't ever hear nothing else about you, but people in my gym were saying, man, this, this guy, C.T. Fletcher, he talks about you. <laughs> I had a white guy come up and show me the end of your, one of your twos where you with the back, backdrop. Uh -huh. And you said, and Craig Munson, another prison guy that you've never heard of or yep. seen. Yep. Biggest guy I've ever seen. <laughs> you exactly. Said that. Okay. And I'm like, who is this? You laid, you laid breadcrumbs for me. Definitely. You the one that put me on the social media network. What? And because nobody talked about me. No. Nobody said nothing. And after you did that, and then my buddy Bill Pettis died. Oh, yeah. Big Bill, yeah. And see, me and Bill used to work out in the pit. You probably uh, saw oh, him that yeah. same day. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I was back arm at three plates on the bench, yep. and you'd stand up and, and do it. Yep. Um, now, wait a minute. Wait, I, that, he went, he went kind of fast over that. Yeah. But I seen him doing tricep kickouts three, with three feet. plates yeah. on each side. <laughs>
Push. Picked it up from the ground. And, and now, you don't, I bet you, ain't nobody at your motherfucking gym doing that today. I don't even know your punk ass, but I bet you, you don't see nobody in your gym laying, kicking out three plates on, on the fucking uh, back. I bet you don't see, even today you don't see. I haven't seen nobody else. How that, many years ago was that? That was in the, in the 80s. I haven't seen yeah. nobody do it since. I think that was 81 that or something. 83, 84, Yeah, 85. around there yeah, when, yeah, when yeah. I seen him doing that. It was early 80s. And you don't, you don't see people doing that shit today. So uh, that, I, I didn't want to just go past that too fast. And he's talking about Bill Pettis. At one time, they said Bill Pettis had the biggest arm in the world. That's what they said. Yeah, but. And I used to always say, Bill, I'm going to catch you. Because Bill. Catch you. Bill, Bill <laughs> had. me past it. Bill had some of the most muscular arms. Yes. OK, they, they weren't pretty to look at. Yeah. They were just big, yep. huge. And I would say, Bill, I'm going to catch you. And you know, Bill had a speech imperative. Mm -hmm. He would stutter. Mm -hmm. And he'd laugh at me and say, uh, you pretty, you pretty, because I tied in good, you yeah. know. And but I caught him. Yeah, oh yeah, and I, call, I, I, I caught him and I took pictures with him, and and Arnold too. Yeah. Oh, look, 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 uh, look, look, wait, 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 look, 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 look. I used to take pictures with Arnold. Yep. And I have a photo. Somebody stole that one. Uh -huh. But I I kept a bunch of. I always kept somebody with me to take pictures. We out there, I was telling this story on the way here. We out on a Sunday, and a lot of the Latin kids or kids would want Arnold to take pictures with, and he no pictures, no pictures. But he did it with me, because mm -hmm, I was a big crab. Yep. And I said, come on, Arnold. He says, no posing. I said, okay, stand <laughs> on this side. He said, okay, I got to get in the back. I'm going to get him, I'm going to get him. <laughs> he stand on my right side, and I, Big Will, that's the guy who yep, always holds me down. Big Will bench pressing. Big, yeah, yeah. Big Will could bench. Yeah, yeah. He, he holds really me down. Yeah. And when they, I did like that to Will, and we posing, and just as he got right, I threw that arm up. Bam! <laughs> it was big as Arnold's face. <laughs> My arm was big as his face. And Arnold is like this. No posing. <laughs> yeah. I was just going to say, see, I would go. Up to, I'm from Compton. Yes, yes. And I would go up to Gold's Gym, you know, every so often just to kind of compare myself with the guys I see in the magazines. Yes, yes, yes. Because all the magazine guys was there. They was actually there at Gold's Gym working out. So I would go up there and kind of compare myself yes. to them. And when he tell you that he was bigger than Arnold, for Rick, Lou Ferrigno, and all the champions in the magazine, he ain't lying. Because I seen them. I compared myself to them. And I felt OK standing next to them. I was about 245. They, um, but when I seen Craig Munson, dwarf them. Dwarf them. He was just, it was no comparison. There's a whole lot of motherfuckers can do shit you can't do. Speak for your motherfucking self. Can't tell a motherfucker with a made up mind what's impossible. Fuck you. And that's that's the truth. <laughs> I don't know if we had any photos. We we all had a heyday, and I did do time in the pen. Yep, I'm going to ask you about that. Yeah, but I'm going to ask you about that. I, I ain't ashamed to talk about yep, it. Yep, I'm going to ask you about it. it was my childhood. Uh-huh. Okay, um, I did five years in San Quentin. Um, you didn't get but an hour uh -huh. for lunch and workout. And so, you spent three to five minutes eating. Uh-huh. You get rushed it, that get it, got it right to down. get to that arm. Yep. <laughs> and back then, it wasn't no chesting back this day, da 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 I did arms every day wait, for a week. Wait a goddamn minute. Did you hear what you see, did you hear what he said? But and now but I'm let me go into the theory of it. I did arms every day for this week and then next week I did chest every day. Uh, but because I didn't have two hours to kill on the arm. Right. See in the gym now you can kill it two yep. hours and tomorrow you you'd be dead to try to touch them arms. Uh-huh. So for 30 minutes I could touch the arms. And then when I come back tomorrow, I got to do my car. Because mm -hmm. I didn't do nothing but curls for 30 minutes. Wait a minute. Minutes. Okay. You did curls one day, 
and back arms the next The day. next and some forearms and some more curls. Wait a minute. Because I didn't have but 30 minutes to hit it. Uh, but now in the gym now, you could do everything in two hours. Mr. Munson. Yes, sir. Uh, you know that today they call that overtraining. Oh, shit. Excuse my French. Excuse me. I don't, I, I, I'm not CT. <laughs> But, he yeah. said shit. Uh, yes, I know. <laughs> they call it overtraining. Um, 17, 16, well, even that, 14, 15, 16, 17, I used to get my routine out of the books. Iron Man, uh -huh. stack this high, we working on the backyard, and we're training this way. Yep. But when I get to the pen, I got to do it differently because I ain't got all that time. Yep. 25 minutes on the back, five minutes on the, no. So I had to do it all. And I, I, had, uh, I had back arm Smitty. I had uh, Seaside Bob, Bad Bob. This is my workout team. Uh -huh. Bad boys. Yep. Now we, in I started off in Tracy. And you had to get a 300, you had to bench press 300 to get in the pit with the good weight. Mm. So they called it the 300 club. Yeah. So, but after you get in that club, they also had a thing. If you get too big, they're going to send your ass out of here. <laughs> so now, we, we used to take showers with our raincoats on. Uh, oh, oh, so look nobody out. could see us. <laughs> All right? I still got a bus ride to San Quentin. <laughs> anyway. Look, people talk about Roy. When I entered the gates of San Quentin, I had 22-inch arms. Mm. When I entered the gates of Tracy, I walked in with 21 and a half. Man. Off the streets. I had never seen a steroid until I was 30 years old, 31 years old. Cause it was, I'm from the hood. Yep. We know where to get that shit. Yep. Now. Oh, wait. Go ahead. I don't want you to go, uh, don't forget what you said. Look, 22s. Walking in the prison. When you walk in and without steroids. Without. Yeah. Oh, I, that's impossible. Bullshit. That's but impossible, Craig but, Munson. That's but, impossible. No, you can't see, get I, got no good, I got good genetics. I got these big old hands. My bones, my daddy weighed over 500. My mama stood 6'2 and a half. Mm. Okay? She weighed 185 pounds at one time. She's gone, she's gone now. But uh, I got brothers 6'5. Anyhow. You can't get no 22 on without taking steroids. Now, when I did, <laughs> I competed. I did a bunch of shows and. Uh, I would diet down with the tuna and the strawberries and all that old stuff, mm -hmm. drinking pre-digestive protein. And when I got to the show, I done ate up a lot of my muscles. I'm flat, but I'm big still. Oh, yes, you I'm definitely big. I'm, I'm in the back room pumping up with Roy Liedermeyer, big Roy. Yep, big Roy. Had, he, Roy's still around. Yeah, still around. around. He hit yeah. me on the, he hit me. Uh -huh, yeah. Once I start doing the flicker and all that. Yeah. Big Craig, this is Roy. Mm -hmm. Yes, I remember you. You killed me. <laughs> back Backstage. We're talking, mm -hmm. and I'm saying, man, how you keep your size like that? He asked me, well, what drugs did you change? Did you change your drugs when you got ready for a show? Man, I ain't doing no drugs. I don't know nothing about it. You look like that without no drugs? I said, yeah, <laughs> man. I was bigger than this, you know? <laughs> and he said, oh, bullshit. <laughs> they didn't believe me. No, they thought they didn't put me on stuff, uh -huh. okay? That was at Mr. L.A., 1979, something mm -hmm. like that. So. The guy started giving me steroids when I come in the gym. He was giving me pills. I didn't know what they were, okay? He, every day I'd come in, he'd sit behind the counter and hand me a bunch of vitamins and my juice, go work out. And that was at Trojan Gym downtown. Mm -hmm. um, I'm in the back room. They got the mirror above the, on the ceiling so you could watch the chest. <laughs> and I'm, in, I'm, I'm, I'm flat back and wide. And I had 450 on, I said, give me. No, I had 400. I said, give me a quarter on each side because I want 450. Mm -hmm. They don't put a quarter on. They put a plate on. Mm. They give me 500. Yep. And I ripped that booger. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> and when I got up there clapping and clapping. Yeah. They were talking, clapping. And I'm looking in the mirror right in front of me, and the vein right here standing up that big. Woo. I said, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> you know, they, they said, Big Craig, look what you got. And I'm looking at side to side. I got 500. I just did it 10 times. First time in my life. Woo. I do 500 10 times. I ain't never did it once. Mm. I'm like, what the? He said, Julio, come back. Julio, he works at the counter. Uh -huh. What's all the noise? He said, man, Big Craig just hit 510 times. That's the pills I've been giving you. Man. I said, what pills? I'm giving you Diana Ball mm. and a draw 50. 
Oh, oh boy. What the fuck is that? He's getting it from Walter J. Cox down uh, Beverly Hills, see the sign now. Mm-hmm. I want you to go with me to my doctor and see why I'm not getting strong like you. Man. It's working, but it ain't working for him. Uh -huh. Genetics, right? Yep. Anyhow, I do all that with him. But that was my first introduction to steroids. Mm -hmm. So the next show, I'm ready for the ass. <laughs> I go to, I go to um, lock in, you know, battle of the bodybuilders up in Oceanside. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm a monster. Yep. And Big Sergio Olivia was, was a guest, guest poser. poser. Wait a minute, I was there. Sergio Oliva was the guest poser. And you saw me then. And you, I, I, the I, war surge. You don't want to look, say it. I love Sergio. That's my idol. Don't get. I love Sergio yes, Oliva. The me minute. too. Me too. But as far as size, mass, it's the truth. Craig Munson made my idol look small. Look, Sergio told me to my face. I had on the Grim Reaper robe, yep. and we were pumping up together. Sergio said, because I had met him once before uh -huh. at La Cunata. Right. When I, saw, I just went to see. Uh -huh. And he says, let me see what you look like, Big Craig. And I peeled that robe off. <laughs> now, you know he's Cuban, right? Yep. And then you know the way he spoke. Uh -huh. He says, oh, you're going to kill the white boys tonight. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you're going to kill them. Oh, and I said, he man. said, you look great, Big Craig. Yeah. He says to me, the reason he was looking bad that night because he had had pneumonia oh. and he had lost 30 pounds. Oh. He just came to get his three grand. Oh. Because <laughs> okay. they gave him three grand to guest hold. Okay. I came, Mr. Money Man. Yep. I come to get my money. Now, see, I had no, no idea, idea about that. Yes. That was the first time I had seen him in person, too. I had only seen him in the magazines, and he was always my favorite bodybuilder. Mine too. Always my number one favorite bodybuilder. And then. But so when I, I didn't know anything about him, you know, losing 30 pounds, but when I seen him standing next to Craig that night, he, he, he dwarfed him. Craig just dwarfed him. Now, on my Flickr account, I got Sergio on the stage with the blue trunks on. That was that night. And you will see he's flat. Yeah, OK. okay. Um, I have a couple of pictures there with the girt, with the backdrop gold curtains. That was that night, OK? And I look great. That's yeah. the night when I presented trophy, uh, uh, I presented pictures and AC Deuce, because he liked to wear them hats, uh -huh. I gave him a hat and some pictures out in the lobby where you see a, he, him signing something. He's signing me an autographed picture that's on my wall because he was my idol. Yeah, mine and too. And you see, if I knew what I know now, I wouldn't have beat my body up so. Mm -hmm. You see, because I got arthritis in my leg, my knees, and in my tailbone. You probably got it, too. <laughs> I do have arthritis. Yeah. Yeah, is it in your knees and all? It, no, it's just, uh, oh. Did uh, you do heavy squats in the day? I, 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 the most I ever squatted was 750. Oh, shit. <clears throat> I ain't do but five. But I launched 300. <laughs> oh, my God. I used to 300 around. You know how they say do walkouts? Yeah. Well, I put 300 and walk from here to there. I can lunge it. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. So my knees That's are bad. That's a hell of a lunge. And my, and my tailbone. Now, Big Sergio Olivia, I'm talking to the youngins now. By Sergio being my idol, Sergio always promoted maximum poundage. Yeah. Maximum poundage build mass. Yep. That will stick with you. And he was the mass king. And he was the mass king. But nobody told us what the longevity would mm -hmm, be mm -hmm. because they didn't know. Right. See, when you talk about Sergio Olivia and Arnold, those are the guys who blazed the trail yep. for us. That's correct. And now they didn't know what the side effects was going to be long term. Yeah. Um, Sergio also told me, because I, I had his private number. I could mm -hmm. call him mm -hmm. in Chicago. If I had a chance to do it all over again, I wouldn't touch no steroids. Mm. You, see? Lit, you hear that? He said it. He said it to me. I said, no, no. He said, it's like the monkey on your back. You're always looking. You got to go find it, search mm -hmm, it out. Mm -hmm. He said, no, Big Craig, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. So I'm talking to the youngins now. Yeah. When uh, uh, I tell a couple of guys in my gym that they want to squat heavy, heavy. I said, man, you, I got a 16-year-old in the gym. He's putting 500 on already. I 
said, man, you're going to, your bones are so soft still. You, it's going to tell on you later, mm -hmm. you know? Well, they said, well, you used to do it. Yeah, <laughs> but I didn't know what I know now. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's hard mm -hmm. to get up out the bed. Yeah. You know, because, well, I'm, I'm damn near 70, but I would love to be 80 and still be able to get around yeah. good. Yeah. You know, I got two brothers older than me. Oh, okay. Uh, that's big you got Joe. a younger brother too, don't you? Oh, yeah, but Psycho got killed, right? Oh. Yeah, he got killed, and then Teddy's still around, but he, he don't work out no more. But Salam, you remember Salam? Yeah. He, to, he's, he, he ain't working out no more. Oh, he's, but he used to work out. Yeah, you yeah. put a pencil in his stomach, he could hold a pencil. Yep. He was so cut up. Yeah, he was he did super a show cut. At, he did a, a show at Venice, Venice Beach. Uh -huh. um, that's Salam. Well, okay. Um, but if I knew what I know now about the maximum poundage, I would only do it on certain things, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, you could probably bench press all day, and it might not hurt them in legs, ligaments in there and all, uh -huh. but them knees, for your mobility, walking around, and your hips for standing, you know? Because you got to yep. stand. You got to stand in line <laughs> in the bank. Yep. And... It ain't too nice when they got to pull up a chair for you. No. Because your hips are hurting so bad. And then you're loading up on Tylenol because you can't take a leave because your kidneys. Yep. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Leave that to leave alone. Take Tylenol. <laughs> uh, because you don't want to mess up the kidneys. And now, we ain't talking about all the steroids and all the bodybuilders that's not making it to 50. Mm. You know, mm. all of them, they dropping a, now, Big Rich, that's my partner. Mm. We used to sit out in Venice a whole bunch of days talking. Uh, he, he dogged me out, Big Craig, let me see that arm. Flex it with me. I said, man, you know I ain't flexing <laughs> now. And this, I'm, I'm done. Yeah. This is, this is the 2001. Uh -huh. You know, I had a motor, but he got them implants. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, he <laughs> big in a house. I'm Two like, houses. I'm like, you want me to throw mine up with that? You know I'm that big. <laughs> big Craig, come on. I said, like, come on, throw it up. But um, I said, Big, you got you to lay off some of that juice. He said, what the, why you say that, Big Craig? I said, the last time I saw you, your head was this big. Now your head this big, mm. okay? Look at your feet. We were sitting on the beach like this. His feet on the top are overlapping, okay? I'm saying, Rich, you got to slow down. Because he ain't competing. Mm -hmm. This just walk around huge. I could see it if you're competing, trying to win a show, mm -hmm. but still, it's going to get you. But just for, you know, no. Uh, but he had to keep it up. Keeping up the appearance. Okay? Yep. Um, no. A lot of guys, Big Cowack. You know that name, Cowack? Eduardo Cowack. Eduardo. Yep. I did a show with him in, in London. Holy shit! <laughs> we backstage pumping up. I'm like, look at that. Yeah. He was so massive. Eduardo Kowak. He, he did too. You guys don't 47 know. 47 years old. He, but he was so full look of that up. juice. Look him up. Yeah, look, look, look. This is in London. Uh, Night of the Crystal. They sent for me. They sent me a ticket and paid for everything to come compete in their show. Mm. I, I arrived in, the, in London Heathrow Airport. Then I got to get on the train to, to travel for three hours to the Midlands. Oh, I'm enjoying the countryside and everything. Right. When I get to the destination, a van picked me up and take me to a prejudging. I get off a 12-hour flight to get in the van yeah, to drive three to go hours, to and I'm in, in the show? Yeah. I'm dead. Yeah. So, and I tell him, I said, man, I just got off the airplane. My body ain't alive. I can't do no prejudging, but I did it. John Brown was there. John oh, Brown said, Mr. Universe. Yeah, John Brown yeah. said, Big Craig, let's go. We, we went and we had burritos. Now, we in London, so they got what they call it um, corned beef and cabbage. Yeah. I ain't crazy about either. <laughs> and he said, we got to find a Mexican burrito. Big John went and had me eat two burritos and a glass of wine, red oh, wine. Oh, boy. For the vascularity. Filled out, yeah. I filled out. Mm -hmm. When I get to the show that night, uh, Paco Arce was my prom uh, sponsor. He said, Big Craig, your body came alive. Man. Look, look, I woke up. My body woke up. And, the, and the it was standing room only. Now, they had promoted me bodybuilding with me in yep. their country. 
Man. Because London, it wasn't, you know, real I strong. Th I, th I think I heard about this show. I didn't you get know, to you see heard it. about the Mr. World where they had a riot there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one <laughs> That's I heard about. Right. Go ahead and finish this okay. one. Okay. When I got off the airplane in Heathrow, they had posters hanging from the ceiling down to the floor. The first time in London, Craig Munson. Yeah. And I'm pulling my, lo my, lo my luggage. I'm like, good Lord. <laughs> Look at this. Yes, sir. They selling tickets. They sold out the auditorium. Yep. Peeking through the window. <laughs> Man. It was a monster. Yeah. Anyhow, they give me third place or whatever. Oh yeah. And they I was so mad. I went backstage and pulled a sink out the wall in the bathroom. Mm. I had water shooting up and Man. I had a steroid outburst. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. They give me a voucher, seventeen thousand dollar voucher on stage. I told him, I said, I'm gonna wind up in a London jail if y'all don't straighten this shit out. So they come give me the first place trophy backstage. What? Led Crystal uh -huh. backstage uh -huh. to calm me down. And I relaxed, right? But I was just mad. Y'all dogged me out like this, get me over here. Fuck it, okay? Then we got to go eat. And we all eat in the same dining hall. Eduardo sitting in front of me. He got a, his tongue is purple. You know how them Doberman pinches got that uh -huh, purple yeah, streak? Yeah, yeah. His tongue is purple and I'm looking at him. Okay? And he had jagged teeth. I'm like, oh my God. And I, but he's French, you know. Yeah. French or German, one of them. Yeah. And he and can't speak English. Way. But he was a way. nice guy. You know, yeah. bodybuilders, you be uh -huh. nice to each mm -hmm. other. You know, big American. He comes, <laughs> big American. Yeah. Yeah, you, you beat my ass. <laughs> you know? But he was nice. He was yeah. nice. Uh, John Brown, the one that calmed me down, he said, I wish I could do some shit like that, Big Craig. You know, you let them know how you feel. Da, da, da. They always pencil whooping us. Because mm -hmm. I did look good, mm -hmm. okay? Um, I read some comments of people that were there. They said Big Craig was bigger than everybody there, but he wasn't in contest shape, mm -hmm. okay? No, I wasn't on all that juice like them, mm -hmm. uh, cutting juice or whatever. But I did go in huge. Yep. You know? <laughs> and, um, what did you weigh? On stage. 272. 272. Yeah. yeah. In when, 19, when, what uh, you? Um, that, 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 83, Mr. World. Look. 85, the night of the Christmas. 272. Uh, yeah. On stage. Yes, yes. With 23 inch arms, because I lost that quarter <laughs> for the cut. <laughs> back, back then. Now, yes, yes, that's yes. a big bodybuilder now. Yes, that's yes, huge yes. now. There wasn't nobody up there but then. When no. you, can you imagine? This, this, it was a monster. He looked like a monster compared to the, the rest. He just, it was no comparison. To see somebody in contest shape that goddamn big was just unheard of back then. If you eating, if you eating and resting, you could train. Look, you can go. But now, for those, for the squeamish. Who? <laughs> I can't put it on them. For them squeamish. For the, you know? He call them squeamish. I call them pussy fire. Well, well we got so a lady pussy. over there. Oh, I'm sorry, young lady. I'm sorry. <laughs> you we, punks. We can't, they can't train like that. Okay? No. No. Because they're scared. <laughs> they don't want none of that. And in Hollywood Gym, I got a couple people that I, when I first started, they tried to hook up with me. Oh, cry babies. <laughs> look, look. If I'm coming in at 10 o'clock in the morning, they're going to be sure to come in at 2. Yeah. <laughs> they look, don't want to see uh, me. Uh, they want no you part know. of it. They want look, no look. part of it. Now, you remember the countdowns for your rack. You got a rack with all the, the, the weights uh, 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 already welded on. Yeah, I know exactly you know, what you're saying. Yeah. You start with the heavy one, do it five. Yeah. Then you do the next one, seven. Then you, or, or, or you start with the heavy one. Do it a couple, and you know, you yeah. count down or you yep. count up, pyramid yep. up. They don't uh, know about yeah, that, yeah. Craig. Tell them uh, about uh, it. Uh, uh, back and forth. Yeah. I, I got a, I got a, I got a 200 pound uh, bar. I curl it, I pass it to him. Yep. He curl it, pass it back to me. Okay. Until we fall out. Does that? Wait a minute. Till you almost throw up. Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah. Uh, look, you heard me say. Yes. 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 
This was my eye. Now you heard somebody else say it. Now a bunch of y'all pocket protected wearing, you done figured this shit out <laughs> in a laboratory. No, scientific. I used to call it scientific. scientific. I used to call it scientific Look, training. I don't you call do no scientific, scientific training. No. I call you pocket protected <laughs> test two motherfucker. Tell me you did this overtraining and that that don't work. No, they don't want to do it. One the biggest, one of the biggest bodybuilders that ever lived is telling you, and you Look at his pictures, look at him, and you still don't believe the shit. You still gonna tell me what some motherfucker with a test tube said it's overtrained and don't work at all, and you looking at the, the fucking proof sitting right in front of you. Um, they had cancer. They had cancer. Man. And that was in the 90s. God put me through that. What? Yes, yes. Did, did, uh, I did uh, not know, know that. And people don't know, yeah. and I'm telling it the first time. Yeah. Okay? Now, most people know about the gallbladder. My mother died on, on Sunday. That Wednesday, the ambulance had to come pull me out the house mm. because my mother had pulled on me, so I, my gallbladder went out. But I had told her before she passed, Mom, you quit pulling on me because I couldn't sleep at night. My uh -huh. mom was very clairvoyant. Uh-huh. And um, she just smiled. She could fast for 40 days, not eat Ooh. nothing. And so when it was time for her to go, she laid up there 30 days without eating nothing and became a mummy. Man. But she died in her own bed. But anyhow, when they pulled my, they had me on the big mast on the keel flow in the hospital for nine days. Mm. I thought I was going to die. The man in that bed died. They had the big mast so I could breathe because I couldn't breathe. So until they got that under control, on the ninth night, they took my gallbladder out. Mm. Then on the 12th day, they let me go home. What? Okay? But it took me, that was 16, 2016. Uh -huh. It took me all of 17 of trying to wake my muscles back up. Mm. My body wouldn't respond. Right. I'm like, oh, sh I done shut down, okay? But then, Six months ago, my body started waking up. I'm like, what is this? I started getting a pump. I'm doing bench presses. I can do push-ups. I'm like, oh, thank God. You know, mm -hmm. when I say thank God, I had tears mm. because I thought I was done. I went back over to my brother's house and I jumped. I got a great big old Jeep Wrangler sitting up so high. And I jumped. He said, look at you. Okay, feeling good. I said, God is good. Yes, sir. God's on my side. When I say all my neighborhood is gone, I'm buried three partners, dead, yep. and I'm still here. Mm. You understand? I'm still here. Um, no, God is good to me, man. Um, Sometimes I think I should have left with the rest of them because I ain't got no more friends. Mm. My telephone used to ring off the hook. Christmas time, I had so many cards all. That's, when you get old, hey. if, if you outlive people, it's over. <laughs> and the young people, once they, I got people in my building, when they start seeing the YouTube, Big Craig, you been here? I've been living in that same building 28 years. Uh. They say, is that you? <laughs> I, I, wait a minute, I'm, I'm out there watching my, I got, I got a Chevy uh, uh, Corvette uh -huh. and the big Jeep and a Cadillac. Wait a minute, what, what year is the Corvette? I'm ready to sell it too, 78th anniversary. What? And I just redid it last year. Black, that black and silver, right? Yes, the black and silver one, but I painted it all black. Well, oh, okay. Yes, yes. I I'm, asking, that, I'm asking, I'm we, we put it on, uh, on Craigslist, uh, uh, my bookman did, he put it on uh, for 25, but I'll take 20. Uh, uh, get that, if we put the, we <laughs> took the high rise and holly off, put an elder brock. It got the lope to do. To do. It's, it's a Corvette. Yes. And I'm 68 years old, so it'll get away from me. <laughs> when I drive it, it, you know, it scares me. It got that lope. Do, 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 oh, I do, got do, a couple you know. of them. I mean, they, I you know what I'm I saying? I do a little loping myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, at our age, you know. It's yeah. Good, you know. Oh, I, I wouldn't. I, I don't give a damn. I ain't selling my shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's my brother's state, man. Don't you sell that car. Oh, no. If I don't do I nothing. Say, I don't do nothing but go out there and wipe it off and start it up. He said, well, that's all you do then. Yeah. I said, no, no. But um, um, people in my neighborhood see me out there wiping off the car, and they'll pull over. They say, Craig Munson, yep. is that you on the video? Is that you? Yes, sir. You the OG? You triple OG? That's him. <laughs> I said, yeah, that's me. That's they him. They said, 
man, you've been living down here. I didn't know that was you. Yeah, you ain't supposed to, <laughs> you know. Because we didn't handle YouTube back in the day. I, no. didn't, know, I didn't know what YouTube was. No, 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 the man no, coming no. in, uh, no. they say, CT, you want to be on YouTube? I said, what the fuck is that? Look, I tell you, <laughs> I tell you, CT, I had never looked on YouTube till they told me about you talking about me. Man. And the guy in the gym, I'm on the bench press. I'm sitting on the bench press like this, resting in the mirror right here. He said, Big Craig, let me show you. And a white guy got a, got a black Escalade Cadillac. Uh, come over to him. He said, look. And he's holding his, let me see. And I'm looking at you talking about me. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what's this? He says, that's the guy I've been telling you about. He's like a motivator. Yeah. He said. He's, mm -hmm. a, he's a motivator. I'm like, really? So here, here's my phone. Pull it up. Push it up. He had to put the app on for me. You know, uh -huh. and, uh, shit, I've been doing it ever since. <laughs> Look, I said, I, I got to put some pictures up. I had to, you know, uh, let people know who motivated me. That's right. I appreciate who inspired it. me to, to, you know, after I, I, my whole mindset changed once I seen Craig Munson. Because uh, the attention, the ad, the, the, when it was, he was, the, a crowd was just formed. Around like six, six to nine deep. Deep. Sometimes I would just stand at the, I would stand at the pit gate and count the rows. Yep. Up to nine just rows of around. people. Yes, yes. And, and from I, from from corner to corner, all the way around the pit. Now let me tell you something. When I seen that, I wanted that. Yes. I wanted that. I wanted to be like Craig Munster. So when you know. I, I did my I did my thing. I did my best to get the 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 size and the strength. I wanted to do everything I seen you do. I laid down and did put three plates on the easy curl bar and did kickouts with it because I seen Craig Munson do it. <laughs> I wanted to, I curled. Uh, I had the curl record lasted twenty something twenty five years uh, strict curl, but I seen Craig Munson curling. Uh, uh, two plates on each side, on Olympic bar, just repping the shit, I, I believe in the pit, and I wanted to do that because I seen Craig Munson doing. Craig Munson had 23, 24 inch arms, I wanted 23, because I seen Craig Munson, I tried to be Craig Munson. And, uh, and, I, and that's, you know, so I had to pay tribute to you. I appreciate it. I had to let them know, you know, that's, that's, that's who I looked up to. That was, you know, that, Craig Munson was the man as far as I was concerned. I never had a chance to sit down and talk to him like we're talking now, but that was, uh, I mean, I've always wanted to. And, and, and I would, I'm, I'm, I'll be 60 on, on my birthday, and I finally I get the chance to sit down and talk with my inspiration, Mr. Craig Munson, right there. He, he, is, he told me, CT, I ain't what I used to be, but to me, he's that and more. I didn't know anything about the cancer, and that requires a different kind of strength. Oh, man. It, boy. Oh, that's what made me cut my hair off. Look. I was so vain about my flat, my, my yeah, faded. I, was, I had a flat top. <laughs> yes, I was so vain about that, but when the cancer, I had to cut it off. Yeah. But you were talking about the, and I saw it on the YouTube, are you doing the strict curl? Mm -hmm. Tell you the story. After they gave me a date, they gave me a 90 day date, three month date to go home from San Quentin. They said, well, you done been behind the wall so long, we're going to send you to a camp center to chill out, sleep in dormitories. I'm like, cool. Yeah. So, time to go. When they go to put me on the bus, the handcuffs won't fit. Won't, would not fit. So they put the leg irons on me. Uh huh. That's them big old bulky leg irons. Yep. They put them on me and said, now, don't you act up. I said, man, I'm going to a camp center. Yep. I'm going home soon. Yeah, it, it, but they still put me in the cage. Mm -hmm. When I get to the uh, camp center, oh, yes. I got it. Could you, could they handcuff you like this? Oh, no. <laughs> no. You know, you, I, I already knew the answer. Yeah, you know you because they the, couldn't handcuff no, me like that. So I know damn back. well they you couldn't put your hand behind. Yeah. yeah. So I just wanted to, okay, go ahead. <laughs> so I get to Jamestown. And they give me my bedroll. I go, the, the, the weights are out on the yard. And the yard is like three, four football fields. Oh, and the man. camp center is built around, and it looked like college school. Wow. 
everything is dormitory, second and first level. Oh, man. And on the top level, it's a balcony to wrap around. Uh -huh. And the guards were standing up, leaning, looking down at the boys working out right there. Yep. And happened to be right in front of the dormitory I'm going to. Jay, I go in there, make up my bunk. And I got to get to the iron pile. You yeah. Know? Oh, yeah. I'm, so I make up my bunk and I go to the iron pile and I'm buttoning all the way up. That prison, I'm buttoning all yep. the way up. And I'm standing behind the weight bench. They bench pressing. And I say, can I go next? You want to show, got to show them what I can do. <laughs> I got to establish myself. <laughs> yep. Can't wait to show yeah, them what so I can I do. Yeah, so I ain't going to have no problems yep. here. You get yourself established. And they say, yeah, big brother, go ahead. And so... It's pig iron. Yeah, oh, wait a minute. What kind of iron is it? <laughs> pig iron. I, <laughs> jingly, jingly, I bet y'all don't even know <laughs> no, what pig iron look, is. Look, have they got all. five quarters on each side. Yep. Five twenty-five quarters. And so I lean over like this to tighten it up. Clean, clean. Yep, that's how you okay. did it. And the, the bench press racket is close grip right here. So I put my <laughs> hands next to the close grip. And start Just curling. like the one we got over there. Yeah, start curling it. Woo! <laughs> and I curl it about 10 times, just like that. And the police looking like that, and I look up at them, and they's raised up. <laughs> Where you live at? Yeah. I say, right behind you? How long you been here? I said, I just got off the bus. <laughs> Where you come from? I say, SQ, San Quentin. Okay. What bunk you stay in? J so-and-so, so-and-so. That night at 3 o'clock in the morning, they shake my bed, put me in the hole. What? You can't stay here. <laughs> I had to stay in the hole till the next bus came to take me back. What? When I got back to Quinn, they had a, they had a laughing among the officers. Oh, yeah, they had Big a Craig was too big for the pen. Yeah. Big Craig, he was too big for Jamestown. Yep. He's San Quinn grown. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to, they, they had to even give my sail away. They put me back in my right cell, in gave me my job back. I had to go back to the committee because yep. I went to the hole. You go to the hole, you go back to the hole. Uh -huh. So I go to the hole and B section and Quentin, they, when I go to the committee, they say, man, you wasn't gone, but what happened? Yep. They, they didn't want me there. <laughs> Too big. I, look, I'm in, the, I'm in the chow hall line. Too strong. Getting my food and the officer say, hey, big man, you're too big for Jamestown. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, look, that, now that, you know, uh, 525s, that's 250 just in plates. Yes. Plus yes, yes. whatever the bar, the bar was. Yes, a yes. pig iron. Y'all don't know. Yes. Y'all don't know. That's what I come up on. I got that's pig iron we, over yeah. there. You see, I got a whole bunch they, of pig iron over there. When they come out there. with this stuff, I hated it. Look. You see, when they changed vendors yep. to this, a lot of the guys back when they changed it over said we'll never go in there. Yeah. Because they took the pig took iron the out pig and they put in this, the, the other stuff. Yeah. And they didn't like it. They, the dumbbells, yes, cool. Uh -huh. But they didn't like the other stuff. And I'm like, in my gym, where I go now, they got the same stuff. And it's insurance purposes, right? Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. But um, I got a whole bunch, bunch of pig iron. In my over mama's here. house, we got about 4,000 pounds back there. Yep. From, that's from it. From my childhood days. That's it. Okay. Um, we got benches. You got that walk. much pig iron? Yes. And it's under compartments. We have compartments up under the benches uh -huh. with padlocks on them. Oh, and Big man. Walt, he will, he's a welder out in Long Beach back uh -huh. in the day. So he made our benches and made compartments for us Look. to stack our weights up under. Mm -hmm. and, but we washed down back there. I poured 11 yards of concrete in my mother's backyard. Man. So we would have, you know, work out. They had to work out in the mud no more. And you still got that bench? And the, both of them benches, but now they done got rust corroded because uh -huh. they done been there so long. Right? Yeah, yeah, the bottom yeah. of it is rusty. But uh, the weight's still there. Look, I want to buy that. That's what, I, that's what I'm trying to And look, my brothers don't use it, but uh, they ain't going to part with it. Oh, I, yeah. I even got a bar back there that I broke in Venice Beach. I put a lot of weight on it, uh, and the bar broke. I said, I'm keeping this one. Yeah, boy. <laughs> you yes, know, I'm, sir. I'm keeping this one. Because you know I used to bounce it. Yeah. And when I bounced it, it, it had 450. And it went up like that. Cling, 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 cling. I said, oh, shit, I got to keep this bar. <laughs> yeah. So, Ain't nowhere in the world we should have waited this long. I'm telling you. It, Two old dogs that been the, through it. The stuff, you won't get it on the, no. the apps and training programs, stuff no. like that. The, this type of stuff, you won't get it from your textbooks and no test tubes and pocket, pocket protector. They ain't going to tell you nothing like that. They're going to tell you all this shit that 
me and Craig Munster are telling you is wrong or is overtraining, or, but you're talking to <laughs> the biggest bodybuilder, yeah. one of the biggest bodybuilders that ever lived. Yeah. And he tell, he telling you what he did you to get it? that big. You don't believe and it. And you still don't believe it. Yeah. You see my YouTube? Not yet. Yeah, you check them out. Oh, what do you mean man. Like, you check them out? <laughs> We, yeah. we, we used yeah. to uh, do a the big man. In, the, in, the, in the backyard, lay out on, we had two benches, lay out we, head to head on the bench. Yes. We put the bar in the middle and you got to lay head to head. Okay. I do it 10 times, then you do it 10 times. Back and forth, back, back and, and forth. forth, back and forth. Yes. You see anybody doing that? Oh, now? hell no. No, no. They don't train they like don't that. They don't do that, no. Hey, we're going to stop. I might have to do part two. Yes. We'll come back. We're going to stop for the day yeah. and uh, make sure you. Tune in. That's me. Make sure you get, get my the t-shirt. The best built gang. <laughs>